Lebedinskaya and Angel's Word News. Today, let's be honest. If you're looking for the top five buttons that will change everything, this video isn't for you because over December and January, AI has changed not just on the surface, but from within. This means the rules of the game have changed. It's just that not everyone has realized it yet. It's like putting a brand new engine in a car, but never actually learning how to drive. You'll go further, sure, but you'll also crash a lot faster. So what happened? If you look at all the updates at once, Runway, Kyber, Midjourney, OpenAI, they're all moving in one direction, less chaos, more control. Before AI was just putting on a show, now AI is building the infrastructure. And how was it before? Look, the neural network drew something weird. But now you look, and this AI character can exist for months without breaking down. And that is a key shift. So what exactly changed in Runway? Runway is one of the most accurate indicators of AI video maturing. And the main shift here isn't about being prettier, but about being longer and more stable. If you've ever made an AI video, you know the struggle. The character drifts, the face jumps around, and the hands have a mind of their own. We used to make three or four second clips easily, but keeping a character consistent for 20 seconds was hard. Everything would fall apart. Now, Runway can maintain identity over time, the face, body, movements, and behavior. And why has this become so important? AI video is no longer just a one-off trick. It's become a real production process. Runway was the first to move its Gen 4 and 5 video models to the NVIDIA Rubin infrastructure. And that means a focus on long context, physics, and scene consistency. Looking at the market's mistake, about 90% of people still don't use Runway as an effects generator, but Runway has already moved further toward video production and world models. If you're creating an AI influencer, a virtual host, or a brand character, you don't need an effect. You need production over time. Now, a few words about Kyber. So what's changed there? Kyber has become cleaner with smoother transitions, less visual clutter, and better rhythm synchronization. Why is this important? Kyber is a powerful audio reactive platform. You upload a track and the visuals start to breathe. It might look beautiful, but on its own, it doesn't have meaning yet. And people expect Kyber to do the thinking for them. It won't. Without a script, it's just expensive visual noise. Kyber is an amplifier. It amplifies both the idea and the emptiness, meaning first, then movement, not the other way around. Midjourney. Midjourney has launched Niji 7. This is a quiet but very significant update. Less noise, more readability, and more precise following of prompts. Why um, is this worth paying attention to? It's not about the wow factor, but it's not, but it's about visual language. Images have become calmer, more structured, and clearer to the human eye. I'll leave links under this video. You can see where each update was taken from and apply them in your video projects if that's what you do. I'll add that for Kyber. Many still rely on visual shock, but this strategy has stopped working. What to do differently? If you're creating an AI character, it's important not to surprise, but to be recognizable and consistent. Niji 7 is a step exactly in that direction. Next, I took a few recent updates from OpenAI regarding the fact that Chat GPT Health is now officially entering medicine, not as a doctor, but as an assistant for working with medical data. And if AI was allowed into a regulated field, it means the level of trust and control has grown. But people will either be afraid or they will be waiting for diagnoses from AI. Use AI as a tool for understanding information, not for making decisions for a person. Next was the model specs update, protection for teenagers. That is, OpenAI has strengthened the protection of teenagers. Clear frameworks of responsibility have appeared for AI avatars and public images. If any of you follow our live streams with guests, we raise many questions regarding safety, medicine, how AI affects development, sales, and, and many things. So stay tuned. Many still think that in AI you can do, do whatever you want. But you have to understand that the era of chaos in AI is already over. Another update is GPT Atlas, which is about security. That is, OpenAI is strengthening protection against prompt injection attacks. A hacked AI character is no longer a bug, it's a reputational crisis, ignoring security at the design stage. Design AI systems as infrastructure, not as a toy. That is, chat GPT is no longer just a chat. Models have become better at maintaining complex logic, constraints, and project architecture. 
Chat GPT is no longer a text author, it's a tool for the architecture of thinking. Using it as a write text button no longer works. You need to work with it as the core of the system, not as a phrase generator. If you put it all together, runway is video in time, Kyber is movement, mid-journey is image, chat GPT is logic. Individually, they are tools. Together, they are a system. Today in AI, it's not the set of services that matters, but how they are connected to each other. And that's exactly what I do. I design AI influencers, AI images, AI characters, not as a visual trick, but as a working system. That is, I've opened five consultation slots. The first five get a 20% discount plus an AI influencer mock-up for free. If you want to enter AI professionally rather than chaotically, message me. This was Angel's Word News and your Lana Lebedinskaya. We're not chasing hype. We're developing the architecture of the future. I'll also add that from now on, I'll be posting reviews on how to use any neural network. These will be professional reviews, paid professional reviews, so if you want a deeper understanding, comment with your questions and the neural network you're interested in. I'll take note of everything, do the breakdowns, and then we'll continue working together. Regarding the HeyGen updates, I'll do a free review, but if anyone's interested in the system and architecture of video production, I'd be happy to help on a paid basis. Bye, everyone. Hugs.